get started right now. Looks like Game of Thrones. Raza So he was in a battle that he lost. Okay, he threw him into the, the water. Into the uh that's supposed to restore his life and make him immortal. Very cool. Is that Selena? She's moving like a little cat, or, or, or I said she. But that's got to be her. The way she slid up that ramp like that. This is awesome. <laughs> Ooh. That was awesome. That was awesome. This show is heating up. this interesting I knew he was getting out I mean, I mean we all knew he was getting out uh oh no one stays dead in Gotham of course, the Riddler wouldn't stay there, though. He's going to go on to do bigger and better things. Oh, he's got a groupie. Holy madness. God, was there ever, ever a female Riddler? Myrtle Jenkins. Five months. It's been five months. According to the manifest, the shipment was full of jewels and expensive art that are to be flipped for the item with the least intrinsic value. Well, that tells me she's a company liar. Maybe I'll hide I think I just found the answer. Alfred, look. This drawing depicts a man being healed by water. Look at his eyes. 
Getting deep. Getting deep. Getting deep. The rise. And he wants the I I I I I want the knife. <laughs> she made a joke of outfit. I mean a, a bit of outfit. I love this show. I like the way she's talking. We can do great things together, you and I. Female, female boss? I'm with it. I'm with it. A female, well, we got a lot of female bosses in the city, but we got a female boss. Oh, so there won't be any Mrs. Riddler. <laughs> oh, shoot. Who is that? Is it Bruce? It's Bruce. It is. No? Raz Al Ghul. He brought her back to life. This is really interesting. This is insane. All right, you guys. So uh, we're going to get started with our review of Gotham Season 4, Episode 3, They Who Hide Behind Mask. Uh, very, very cool episode. Uh, we got uh, a little of uh, Batman, a little Bruce being Batman, and, and uh, obviously on the docks, and uh, they're trying to find out what Penguin is up to, what he's, what he's bringing in. And um, he finds that Selina... Uh, well, he doesn't know it's Selena, but uh, he sees someone uh, looking to rob the shipment as well. So he goes to investigate, comes to find out it's Selena. And uh, basically, we find out that Selena and, uh, is, is after the same thing that Bruce is trying to investigate. Uh, of course, that uh, particular item is this knife. Uh, they find out that the knife is uh, of some importance, but not sure why. Uh, especially, And then they also find out, um, Bruce finds out, that the knife is of some importance to Barbara, um, which immediately 
not immediately. I, it took a, a second for me to kind of figure out, okay, someone, and they, and they kept mentioning a benefactor. The penguin kept mentioning a benefactor to Barbara. And I'm like, wow, who could that be? And the fact that she was going after this knife, I knew the knife belonged to uh, Ra's al Ghul. So I, I put two and two together and said, okay, Ra's al, Ra's al Ghul is her benefactor. Um, and then towards the end, uh, j just before it was revealed, I figured out, okay, he brought her back to life. He uh, dipped her into the uh, Lazarus pit and, uh, and that's how she was able to come back. So, uh, which is a very good explanation on, on uh, why Barbara was able to come back. Um, so that's very, very cool. Um, one of the, uh, and, and then of course we need to discuss uh, Sophia Falcone. Um, I, I, I don't trust her. I, I still don't trust her, but it looks like she's going to be taking uh, Val, uh, Falcone's place uh, as uh, one of the bosses in the city. She's going to uh, try to uh, butt heads with Penguin and try to knock him off of his perk. It's going to be really, really cool. Um, I, I, I believe that she is going to uh, have some kind of plot involving trying to kill Jim. Um, that's why it's kind of, I don't know why Jim is getting all lovey-dovey with her, especially knowing uh, what he knows from her now. Uh, so that's that's uh, kind of a new dynamic uh, for the series. I don't know if she's going to be it, it like going to be like a part-time love interest for him. Um, and then at some point he's going to stab, she's going to stab him in the back, uh, trying to kill him for what he did to her brother. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. Uh, the, one, one of the best things in this episode is the uh, dialogue between Alfred and Bruce uh, especially when they're uh, doing the Batman activities um, or investigating. Uh, it's, it's really cool to see Alfred right there with him, uh, backing him up, uh, kind of showing him where he's making his mistakes, uh, showing him, uh, giving him his persona, uh, if you will, as the bratty billionaire boy uh, to kind of throw everybody off uh, from who he really is. So that's really, really cool. Um, to see that it, it, it to that revealed that Alfred is the one that kind of uh, groomed him uh, to create that persona, uh, and and then of course again uh, uh, Alfred teaching him the ropes of how to be uh, an investigator and sneaky and and how to uh, kind of uh, blend in and uh, uh, you know do what he needs to do to become the Batman. So it's really really cool to see that. Um, I also uh, like the relationship between Selena Kyle and Barbara. Uh, this this business relationship that isn't quite working out all that well. Um, so that's very, very cool. And we, we will probably see a, a breakup of that partnership at some point. Uh, I'm not sure uh, if, and, and it's it's going to be a, a very interesting dynamic, especially uh, now that we know that Ra's al Ghul and Barbara uh, are working together. Um, so let's dive into that uh, a little bit. So uh, obviously uh, we know that he is the benefactor for her. He is the one that's behind her business, um, which gives her a very, very, very strong ally, uh, especially against the likes of Penguin. Um, so uh, that is really going to be interesting. And then you throw in Sophia Falcone uh, in the mix uh, as the other mobster. So we're really going to get a, um, a, a, a really cool uh, structure as far as the cr criminal uh, underworld is, is concerned. Uh, we have some powerhouses that are now in place. And uh, some of these powerhouses hold some really good backup, like uh, what Barbara has with Ra's al Ghul. Penguin has his... Uh, crew together. And then, of course, Sophia uh, is the head of the Falcone uh, crime family. So very, very cool and uh, very good to see that they're structuring that uh, here in the series. And then, of course, uh, we have to get to the Riddler and Mrs. Riddler. Um, <clears throat> I thought that was very cool. And I, 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 guys, I'm not well versed in all of the comics and all in the full on Batman lore. Um, I don't ever remember an introduction of a female Riddler. Um, but there, I mean, with the comics, you never know that probably has happened. If you guys know, if you guys do know of something like that happening uh, in the comics or any of the other literature involving Batman, uh, please put those comments down below. But I was really surprised to see that they entered uh, that particular character here uh, for this series. Uh, but that's one of the things I like about this series. They uh, kind of do their own thing. Uh, so it was very cool to, to see that. And she, she nursed them back to health and and, and come to find out the Riddler is not quite himself uh, just yet. He's not going to just get thought out and, and become 
who he was when he uh, was first frozen. And I, I like that uh, dynamic as well. He's going to have to uh, get himself better. And then the, the other thing that I, I thought they were going to include this female uh, version of the Riddler uh, for, the, uh, for the remainder of the uh, series. And um, which would have been cool. I would have I, I, I would have accepted it. I did not have a problem with it. But then we got the little tiny twist where she actually gets killed off. Um, but remember, nobody stays dead in Gotham. Um, so we may see Mrs. Riddler again. Uh, I wouldn't think she I, I wouldn't say she's a throwaway character at this point. And I really like what she what she did here in this uh, particular uh episode and um it would make sense if she did come back because now she has a a a bone to pick with uh the riddler um so we may see a a female riddler and a a male riddler uh going at each other at some point uh in this series i don't think it's going to be right away uh if if at all um she may have been just a throwaway character just someone that they threw in there uh as a means to get uh the riddler uh de-iced um, so, you know, so very cool. And uh, I, I enjoyed that particular character, even if it is uh, just a throwaway character. Um, and then um, the, the, one of the things in regards to uh, this episode in particular, uh, the shots uh, in this episode, the backdrops in this episode, the filming uh, in this episode, it, it, it seems to have improved by leaps and bounds, um, I, you know, I, I, uh, and, which is great. I love it. Um, the, because the series has ha, has had this uh, comic book feel, uh, you know, and most of the time we're in Gotham, which is dark and gothic uh, looking and uh, uh, very cold backdrops, right? And so we get uh, out here with Falcone and, and they have this beautiful Cuban-like backdrop and, and beaches and, and just beautifully shot. Uh, right there, and then the uh, introduction scene uh, where th they're depicting a, a battle that took place when you see Ra's al uh, Ghul, uh, they're uh, obviously dead, and this uh, guy picks him up, finds him, and, and uh, puts him in the last uh, uh, pit and uh, revives him, and that's how he becomes Ra's al Ghul. Uh, but that beginning shot uh, right there was out of something like Game of Thrones or uh, 300. Um, you know, it's just amazing, amazing backdrop, amazing, amazing shots uh, for this episode. Uh, definitely, you can see there's been an increase with the budget here uh, with this uh, series. So very, very cool. Uh, absolutely love this episode. And I'm really digging the season so far uh, of Gotham. Um, I, I got to tell you guys, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and score this episode right now. Um, I, I'm going to give this episode a 8.5 uh, out of 10, very close to a 9.0. Uh, uh, out of 10, but I really thoroughly enjoyed this episode. Uh, I think we got uh, just enough uh, action with uh, Batman and, and uh, well, Bruce uh, as Batman uh, and, and Selina. And, uh, but we, then we also got uh, a little bit of the, uh, the uh, politics uh, between the Penguin and Barbara. Uh, and then we got the nice reveal with uh, Ra's al Ghul and Barbara. Uh, which is absolutely great. And then, of course, we have the Riddler, who is now on the loose, uh, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, and then, of course, again, uh, back to the uh, the relationship and the grooming of uh, Bruce Wayne into Batman by Alfred. I just really, really love that uh, out of this uh, particular episode, and that's why I gave it such a high score. So, uh, guys, I want to know what your thoughts are, uh, not only for this episode, but for the season uh, as a whole. Do you feel like the series has gotten better um, looks like they've kicked it into high gear and uh, we, we are getting these story arcs uh, that are just moving right along. Uh, in my opinion, I, I really am enjoying the series. Uh, I, I've always thoroughly enjoyed this series, but I, I, I've always told people it, uh, Gotham is a slow burn. But it seems like this season they've picked up the pace quite a bit. Um, so I want to know what your thoughts are in regards to that. Do you feel like they have picked up the pace? Uh, again, we're getting more of a little more of the Batman. Uh, we're getting the bratty uh, Bruce. Um, do you also feel like they are uh, straggling uh, that line of Batman Begins? Uh, they do, they're doing a really good job, in my opinion, of adapting that movie uh, to this series. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's awesome. <clears throat> I really, really enjoy it. 
Um, do you feel the same way? Do you feel that they're doing that as well? Uh, so guys, please put those comments down below. And I want to thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will catch you on the next reaction of Gotham.